Mr. House at Classic Gentleman. Yes. So um, today we're going to talk to him about his establishment, how lovely it is, and ask him a couple of questions about the business and himself. Hello, Mr. House. And how are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Um, my first question is, what are the top five problem areas for men, uh, for your customer? Well, let me, let me start here. Uh, the store is called Classic Gentleman Boutique, and I named it that for a reason, because I deal with the classic gentleman. So now to talk about a problem area, well, first of all, men are worse than women <laughs> when it comes to admitting certain things. Uh, they always undersize their necks. Mm. You know, they'll say they're 16 or 16 and a half when they're 17. Uh, their waist sizes, they always undersize that. And their jacket sizes. True. Okay. okay. So, for classic gentlemen, what's your price point for our viewers? Um, I like to say uh, that I'm moderate in price. Uh, I'm not the cheapest person on the block, mm -hmm. but I'm not the most expensive either. Uh, price points, if you're talking about different things, is different prices. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, for example, if you're talking about ties or neckties, uh, my ties started, well, actually, I have a clearance room, so they start at $10. Nice. So anybody can afford a $10 tie, nice. right? right? And then it goes to $20, mm -hmm. which is most of my ties in here, and then I have what's called a $40 table. And those mm -hmm. ties will be compatible to any tie that you'll pay over $100 for. Nice. My bow ties go between $20 and $25. Uh, my blazers mm, normally start roughly around $150 and go up. I do custom also, so the sky's the limit. Right. But average $150, and I have a clearance room there again. So a yes. lot of those blazers are $75, some mm -hmm. are $50. Uh, my suits range on average $225. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They can go a little higher, there can be some a little less. But there again, I have a clearance room. So if you need to be in that 100, 150, we can do that also. Nice. nice. Um, how many accessories are there available for men? I personally have two on right now, the cuff links and the pocket square. But aside of the ones that people usually know about, how many are there? I don't think I can put a number on it, mm -hmm. per se. Uh, but we do a lot of different accessories. We do cufflinks, like you said, that's one. Bow ties, ties, socks, uh, shoes, vest, lapel flowers, which are now popular. Yes. Uh, and we have, I said cufflinks, yes I did. And we also have shirts, mm, suits. I mean, a gambit of things. I mean, but if, if somebody wanted something and I didn't have it, I can get it. You mm -hmm. can get it. In your opinion, what are the top three colors of neckties every man should have in their wardrobe? Mm -hmm. Top three colors. Mm -hmm. That's tough because it depends on the man. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm a businessman, I may need to have some yellow, you know, some blue. Everybody needs a black tie. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's formal. That can go formal. Mm -hmm. But if I'm a guy that goes to church and wear clothes, now mm -hmm. I can have on orange, purple, pink. You know, so to say that there's three colors, mm -hmm. top, 
that kind of depends on the guy right. and, and the function. Right. So there's an unlimited amount of colors, and if we don't have the color, we can create it. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Oh. Okay, so I, like I said before, I have the pocket square. What if for any reason I wanted the same look, but I didn't have the money to go and buy a pocket square, but I did have a scarf? Mm -hmm. How could you tie this to kind of make it look like that? Well, first, uh, this is really too big to go in a pocket. Okay. So now we can reduce the size of it. You know, I have I have people that can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can cut a section out. And we actually do this. If uh, we do custom shirts, we'll take a piece of the shirt off the bottom and we'll create a pocket square. That's just another little thing that That's we do. Dope. So we could take this here and, you know, cut a corner off of it mm -hmm. and then have an edge stitching put on it. Okay. And then fold it just like a regular pocket square. And we've nice. done that, you know. So. Nice. And if you had a lady you would coordinate when she had this scarf mm -hmm. and you wanted to coordinate with her, we could take a piece of it and do the pocket square. Nice. So, I that'd like be that. Dope. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. 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 I see all different types of necktie knots that are happening. I've seen like the Trinity and I believe it's called the Eldridge. The Eldridge. Do you have a favorite necktie knot in particular? Here again, classic gentleman. <laughs> you know, we do classics. Uh -huh. I mean, the Eldridge knot, I actually have some companies that I deal with that has a pre-made Eldridge knot. Really? Really. Because it's very difficult to tie. It is difficult to tie and it takes up a lot of material. Yes. So. I really try to stick to the traditionals. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I'll tie a four in hand, I'll tie a half Windsor, I'll tie a full Windsor. And mm -hmm. I think that covers everything you need. To me, it's like you're getting into, I don't want to step on anybody's toe, mm -hmm. but that's kind of clownish to me. You know, because oh. if you have a nice suit, you have a nice shirt and a nice tie, you don't need all this whimsical right, stuff. Right. You know, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, some people are into it and we provide it, such as that. That, mm -hmm. that bow tie she has on, that's not for everybody, you know, but it works in its proper environment. But so if you could be any shoe, what type of shoe would you be and why? If I could be any shoe, well, I'd be, uh, I think I would be, it'd have to be a string up, because I'm yeah. a string up guy. Here mm -hmm. again, going back to the classics. And it'd have to be a brogue. Uh, and but what a brogue is, it has the nail heads oh, on yeah, the toe, like right. you know. Uh, Probably burgundy, mm -hmm. because that's very versatile. Name-wise, it doesn't really matter to me, name-wise. There are different levels of quality, mm -hmm. but a person that moves through their product a lot, you're not wearing it every day, you know, you can go with a lesser quality shoe mm -hmm. and get away with now, it. Now, let me add on to that. What would you put in the shoe? I'll tell you this little story. Uh, I go to the shows in Vegas mm -hmm. right. every year, twice a year. And I had this shoe that was a Meslin shoe. Mm -hmm. And Meslin is a nice Spanish shoe. Leather shoe probably cost you around 375 400 somewhere in there. But great looking shoe. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing like having an uncomfortable shoe on your foot. So I w it would have to be comfort. It mm -hmm. Comfort is the main thing, right. you know, for right. me. Okay, so who's your favorite style icon? Whether it's a celebrity, someone you know in your family, when you were growing up. I can't, I, okay, I came in, I grew up in the projects here, mm -hmm. uh, in Belmont High College Hill, and uh, my mom always had us, we didn't have the most expensive stuff, mm -hmm. but we always had nice stuff. She taught us how to take care of it, clean it, yeah. press it, and all that. Mm -hmm. My brothers and my sisters, were my style icons. Really? I mean, you know, when I'm the youngest of six, and, and my brother, I had two brothers that were older than me, mm -hmm. and I always got the pass downs or hand me downs, and, mm -hmm. but they knew how to take care of their clothes and they knew how to wear nice clothes. Mm -hmm. So those were my style icons. I guess outside of them, uh, some of the old movies, mm -hmm. you know, I like the old classics mm -hmm. from the 50s. You know, those guys really knew how to dress, and they understood uh, it's not about. It's not about the big things. It's about the details. And people right. forget the details. Yeah. So. Yes. That's true. Okay, and my last question. The top three things that a man needs to get dressed. Doesn't have to actually be an object unless you want it to be. It could be anything. Top three things a man needs to get dressed. They need clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I've said, uh, in this business, this is, I do classic stuff, and, and, and these suits and shirts and ties have been around for a while, and they're not going anywhere. But you 
you're always going to need clothes. That's true. And no matter what kind of clothes they are. Mm -hmm. But uh, the top three things, I guess a man always needs to have a navy blue blazer. Okay. He can go a lot of places with that. Uh, he probably needs to have a pair of nice, I wouldn't say, when you say khakis, that brings something to mind. But I'm talking about a dress khaki. Right. Not, you know, right. That's something you can always do something with. And maybe I'd have a black suit. Definitely got to have a white shirt, so that's one extra. But uh, those are at the basics, I think. Nice. Okay. And then my last question, I need you to complete the sentence. I would never be caught dead in, complete the sentence. I would never be caught dead in, well, right now, the fad is going on, mm -hmm. I would never be caught dead in a slim suit because <laughs> I'm not built for that. You know, yeah. right. people, you have to know what works for you. Right. And, I, and I know my deformity, my, you know, what I have, my problems, the issues you right. talked about before. And uh, slim suits are great. I sell them. Mm -hmm. But it's not made for me, right. so I would not be caught dead in a swimsuit. I wouldn't. I used to say I wouldn't be caught dead in a pair of flat front pants. Mm -hmm. But actually, I see that that works now for me. Mm -hmm. Right. But a swimsuit, no, that's not for me. So I wouldn't be caught dead in a swimsuit. Yeah. Not every trend is for everybody. Exactly. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for joining us today at Classic Gentleman's Boutique. It was awesome talking to you, Mr. House. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Mm. And make sure you go and look him up on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you come by. We're going to have the address up here for you on the screen. Definitely come by. Check it out. And don't forget the As One Awards. Yes. April 7th. Yes. This is one of the boutiques that is offering a discount. So make sure you come by. We're hosting the red carpet. We want to see you in Classic Gentlemen. And y'all better dress right. Because we don't have time for anything else. Mm -hmm. We coming for you. <laughs> and the most important thing, well not most important, but a highly important thing, is you have to remember to subscribe. Do it. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>